is a feature on demand or FOD. I'm AutoVista 24 Deputy Editor Tom Gegus here with your handy What is Definition. Now the first thing you need to know about FOD is that it is closely tied to over the air updates, otherwise known as OTA. However, this does not mean that they're the same thing. OTA technology allows car makers to update a vehicle's software, improving the vehicle by upgrading features or squashing bugs. But where does this leave us with FOD? Well, Features On Demand also uses wireless technology to change a car's capabilities. However, emphasis is placed on allowing the driver to personalize their experience through different commercial offerings. This means a car maker preloads a vehicle with all the optional extras and capabilities available during the manufacturing stage. These then remain dormant, so after purchase, the user can access an online portal, decide which features they want, and pay to activate their chosen functions. Let's take this model, for example. Someone using it as a fleet car might want to enable driver assistance capabilities for those longer journeys. Meanwhile, a different user might want to upgrade the navigation system for a holiday abroad. Now, importantly, these choices are not carved into stone. Functions can be added or removed as the user sees fit. However, it's not just consumers who stand to benefit from this flexibility. Leaving customization up to the user frees the manufacturing process of additional complexity, meaning shorter production times. However, car makers do need to consider what features to make FOD compatible. This is because some systems require more expensive hardware. If these functions are not activated, the car maker might have been better off using the conventional method of installing equipment to order. This makes pricing a hotly scrutinized area. Car makers must choose the right features at the right cost to ensure profitability without pricing out potential users. But how do automotive companies plan to create additional revenue streams with FOD? Well, one method is a pay-per-use model, freeing consumers up to opt for capabilities as and when they want them. Then there's also the subscription-based models, not unlike popular music and video streaming services. Here, users can pay a set amount over a dedicated period to access the functions they want. But then, what about when FOD-enabled vehicles get passed onto the used car market? Well here, features on demand should have a positive impact. This is thanks to a higher average equipment level and adjustability. Residual values, or RVs, should therefore see an uplift. The ability to customize a car will expand the used car target group, with buyers able to avoid take it or leave it scenarios. But car makers still need to make sure their FOD features are easily identifiable on the used car market, so sellers know what they're offering and buyers know what they're getting. Features on demand are the next major milestone for vehicle customization, benefiting both customers and car makers. However, automotive companies will need to walk a costings tightrope to get there. If you want to learn more, AutoVista Group's Chief Economist Christoph Ingelskirchen and AutoVista 24 Principal Analyst Sonia Nels discussed FOD capabilities in a recent podcast. And if this video has left you wanting to know more about over-the-air updates and residual values, we have explainer videos on that subject too. AutoVista24.com also sends out a daily email and records a podcast once a fortnight. There'll be links to all this great content in the description below. And don't forget to let us know what other automotive terms you'd like us to define. Just leave us a comment. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.